Hello and welcome to BBC World News. Iraqi forces are advancing towards Kurdish-held sites in Kirkuk province as tensions rise between the two sides over the future of Kurdistan. Iraqi forces say that they've taken control of roads and oil installations from Kurdish fighters near the disputed city of Kirkuk. Well, Iraq's Joint Operations Command, which groups all pro-government forces, said that if it called a major operation to restore security in Kirkuk was a spokesperson for the Kurdish president, Masoud Bazani, accused Iraqi forces of launching a war against the Kurds. Well, Ola Guerin gave us this update a short time ago. Well, what we can say for sure is that a major Iraqi military operation was launched overnight uh, in the province, the oil-rich province of Kirkuk. Uh, it be began just before midnight local time. It was carried out on the orders of the Iraqi Prime Minister. It involved uh, a large number of forces, including elite counter-terrorism units and Shia paramilitary units, uh, which are allied to the government but armed and trained by Iran. Now, Iraqi state television has reported that in the course of this operation, the Iraqi forces took control of vast areas in the Kirkuk region, including oil fields west of the city. And State TV said this was carried out without confrontation. Uh, that is disputed by Kurdish officials who say that they are in fact still in control of the oil fields uh, and an air base west of Kirkuk. And uh, there are reports from military sources on both sides that in fact there was an exchange of Katusha rocket fire to the south of Kirkuk. Of course all of this will cause a, a great deal of concern internationally. There has already been a statement from the US Defence Department uh, urging the Iraqis and the Kurds to, to avoid uh, escalatory actions as it called them uh, and saying it opposed anything that detracted from the battle against the so-called Islamic State. Now all of this has come against the backdrop of uh, dramatically rising tensions between the central government in Baghdad and the authorities in the autonomous Kurdish region in the north. That was uh, Ola Guerin there. Well I'm joined now from Erbil by uh, Ari Momshai who's a political commentator. Thank you for joining us here on BBC World News. Uh, first off, just update us, please, on the latest. Fortunately, last night, the Iraqi army, um, with the use of their um, paramilitary forces, the militias, the so-called uh, popular mobilization forces, in a system with the Iranian government, the IRGC, the Iranian Revolutionary Command Forces, attacked the Kurdish outpost. Kurdish defense lines in the, um, in so-called disputed territories. Uh, this is at, at a time when we were extending the hand of cooperation just yesterday by the two ruling parties, including both uh, President Masoud Barzani and the Iraqi president, who, who himself is a Kurdish president, who himself is a Kurdish, um, to uh, negotiate and come to mutual terms on all the disputed issues between ourselves. Um, okay, so you're saying that there was an extension of uh, the hand towards some sort of dialogue. What do you see as um, a solution to the dispute, or what talk has there been about a solution? There were talks about um, uh, mutual administration of the disputed territories, about sharing revenues, and about how to come to, um, to, uh, to a solution on uh, the sovereign matters such as uh, um, foreign policy, um, purchasing arms, uh, foreign representation, and so forth. But instead of uh, coming forward, the Iraqi government sent us troops and they attacked the Kurdish uh, forces. Uh, unfortunately, we have given some casualties, um, and they are unfortunately uh, they are using uh, U.S.-made uh, Abraham and uh, Humvee uh, against uh, us while they were were supposed to be used against ISIS and the other terrorist forces. Ari, was this the right time, do you think, to hold a referendum? Um, 
The referendum was a very democratic and peaceful um, practice of the, uh, of the Kurdish people. Uh, we did not do any wrongdoings. It was not violent. It was not uh, coerced or so forth. But the Iraqi government's response was very coercive, was uh, using forces and was using violence. Sorry, Mom Shah, we'll leave it there for now, but thank you very much.